care everyone and welcome back to Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. So last time there was basically we basically did three levels until we reached this part over here which I stopped. So it ended up being a more quicker episode. But we're gonna try to finish up here. So I don't really have much to say except make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. And without further ado, we can finish up episodes one in today's episode. And hopefully save Toadette. So there are pearls. There are these things everywhere. There are shy guys everywhere. There's another thing that I must go collect. <laughs> just got lucky for some reason. That was just luck. Okay, and... Wait, wasn't there a gimmick where we had to, um... basically control them ourselves? Through noise, basically? Okay, give me the, um... Oh, you gave, gave me a... You gave me a um, one-up. Thank you. Alright, so we basically got that up there. Now I can get up there. I mean, it's a good thing I went to him now, so I didn't have to, um... ruin everything and not collect the star. I mean, the gem. But we got our last two gem in this area. We need that one over there. So let's get to it. This might have been the easiest stage for me. Oh, and you're over, you're down here. Let's run quickly. They're not as fast as I thought they would be. But now I need to get to the star. Basically get the star down there, but I think I kind of made it worse because now there are shy guys everywhere. Shy guys everywhere I go, basically. But we made it through without getting hit and collecting the star without taking any damage. Was that the goal for this? Get the... Oh, I meant to collect the one up. And I got a total of six stars. Drop row dash. The star related. Whoa. Okay. So I can. It's a combination of fast and slow. Okay, I kind of just screwed up, but at least they come back. But I still got my, um, the two gems, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go. Go. Thank <laughs> you. 
just hold on to this. Because I think I might need to get that. I think I might need to use these things to throw at that. Well, I got it. It doesn't matter that I died, I got the thing still. I got everything that I needed. So I don't really need to, um, collect anything else. I just need this. Let's go. I can damage boost this. Alright, they kind of mess me up. So I'm going to need to throw stuff at them. Just to get them out of my way. That makes things a lot easier now. But just still, the level would so be, so why am I saying that? All it is is just dashing towards the end, and that's it. Did it. There we go. Without getting hit that attempt, we got it. Didn't defeat. Oh, I didn't. I should not have defeated them. Well, I'm not going back. I can deal with it, basically. I needed. The thing I don't need is you catching up to me. That's the second thing I don't need. Somehow I knew that was gonna happen. Don't trust anything when that comes in. I cannot trust anything once that happens. But we still got it anyway, so... Now the third thing I'm gonna need to do is find out how am I gonna get up there. the gem up there. Do I need to go back? Oh no. No, that's where the Goomba was. gonna get up there oh just flash the light at them keep flashing your light at them you 
know they hate the light. They hate light, so keep flashing the light at them. Well, I got it. Alright. Up here, we got everything that is needed. All right. I didn't need to um try to attack them or anything. I could just go. There was nothing that I had to do. Just go. Basically. Here's a quick tip. You can touch the switch to turn the book pages one by one. You can also touch the edge of a specific page to direct, to flip directly to it. So I don't really need to do that, but we're, we're almost done. Blizzard on the Star Express. This must be the last level before the boss fight. I kind of like this stage, where the stage is going. Do I need to kill anyone? I'm just gonna kill people in case they... I'm confused on how you did not see me. I mean, you saw me, you didn't, but you didn't catch me. How was that even possible? And we need... Kinda like there's something over on that here. But how do I get to the room he's in? How do I get to the room he is in? gems or anything? Are they in the lower area of the train? Oh, I didn't see you there. That was the middle one. So where's the starting one? Get out of the train. He's gonna follow you anyway, so it's not gonna matter. Well, just kill me. Where is the one at the start? Going? Do the shy guys have it? Should I kill the shy guys to see if they have anything? Let's try that. Maybe I need to kill the shy guy. Alright, they didn't do anything. Over there. But how do I get to that? How do I get the first one? That's the question. Alright, so... 
somehow the one of found its way in here. That did nothing. But it kind of gave me something. Still. How do I get the one-ups? I mean, how do I get the stars? How do I get the first gem is what I'm trying to say. I've tried seeing what I need. Oh, did I? I need the pickaxe. I needed the pickaxe. Um, come kill me for a second. Come kill me. Because I just missed the two things that I needed. I still need to find a way to get to the first one. Do I just... They don't have anything. Does the bird have anything? Is there anything like a secret pipe? Or something like that, basically? I don't think there's any bricks to mess with. Hold on. You know, I just realized something. I just realized that it was at the very start the whole time. Out of everywhere I have been looking, I didn't even look at the start. I mean, why else would I have the second star? I didn't even look or anything. Such an idiot. Oh, oh, they only so sometimes they react to the light. All right, so sometimes they end up reacting mainly because of the light. Other times they just Theme. But most of the time when I know notice that they're following me, it's just from the light. Let me do a test to see if it's true. Do they react to the light? Hold on. No. No, I don't want him to look at me. I want to see if he only reacts when... When... 
okay, he somewhat reacts. He somewhat reacts to the... He doesn't react at all. He doesn't even see me. Alright, so I'm gonna need to get the pickaxe from... which is basically on the second level. And the first thing I want to do is quickly run back into the other room so I can get the third gem. Oh, and there aren't any enemies to kill, thanks. Aside from those three, but there aren't any enemies to kill, and I just got the last star. Oh. Oh, you had to come in. Can't wait to kill this annoying bird once and for all. Can't wait to kill you. Operation Rescue Toadette. I'm not going to skip it. This is the last part of the, um, of the, of book one, so we'll just have to do it. Still need to collect the six stars. I mean, the three gems. Nope. Hi. Well, look what I just found over there. Somehow I need to get over there. But the thing I was able to find was my death. I must climb up the tower and at the same time get every power gem. Why do I call them power gems? They're just gems. They don't have any special powers or anything. Alright. Found the first one. But we already found the first one. He's not busy trying to attack me, which is good. He's not really a hurt in here, right? Well, you can kinda hurt me, except not really. Wait, can I throw turnips at him? I can! It disables him from attacking temporarily. But he pushed me all the way back down after I had found out what I was meant to do to get that gem. So... But we got the first two. We still have enough invincibility. So I can basically throw turnips at him to, to prevent him from doing anything. That can kind of, I can kind of use that to an advantage. Oh, I just screwed up. I just screwed up. And went back down to... Okay, um, can you push me back? 
can you push this and me and this thing back here, please? Thank you. Now don't bother trying to push me off. Be a good, good bird and don't push me off next time. Now. No. Alright, don't make the same mistake as you did last time, because that's what caused you to lose another life. Let's get the back power down. Finally, reach our way up. But how will I get up there if he's. if he won't even. do anything to get me up there? Oh. Oh, I had the path to get up there and he ruined it. Well, I knew what I was meant to do. He gave me the way up there. And now I can finally go and kill this bird. Wait, why is it daytime and we're in a boss fight? Oh, I need to throw the turnip at him. Do I have to restart from the first part if I... So I need to throw them at this bird. The thing that he summons are what I meant to use to kill you. Okay. Alright. Oh, he was probably gonna summon more. Oh, thank you. Give me that. Make up your mind, bird. Okay. Oh, you just had to ruin it. You just had to ruin everything, did you? Well, that turnip you gave me did not last for long. Oh! I killed him! And now I can cook this bird up into a nice bird stew. Get out of there. And give us the last star for this. I guess it's the finale. Or, or I thought it could be. And we still have that generic victory theme even though we beat the boss. Why isn't it a special deal? So... Yeah, I guess we pretty much beat the game.
there isn't really much I have to say, but... Since this is a port, it's... It's still a pretty good game, it, but... There have been a lot of recent ports that are onto the Switch to the point where I'm kind of thinking... Nintendo wants us to forget about the Wii U. I mean, there have been so many Wii U ports... To the point where I'm thinking Nintendo wants us to forget the Wii U ever happened. I mean, we've had, um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which was basically a port of Mario Kart 8, except... They added in the Inklings as characters, then we had the, um... Then we had Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which was basically the same as the Wii U version, except... For a playable version of Funky Kong, and then there was Hyrule Warriors, where they basically did a com combination of the original Hyrule Warriors and Legends. By combining both games, giving us the DLCs for Linkle's Tale, Sia's Tale, and even the Wind Waker story from Legend, and then even exclusive costumes for Link, and now there's this game that added in, that replaced the Wii U stages for Odyssey level. I mean, I'm pretty sure I missed some, but that gave it away that it's not the end. It isn't the end. Just trust me, it's not the end. Episode 2 is now open. We'll have to go look at that in the next episode. Currently, I am going to end off the episode here. And in the next episode, we'll go to part 2. So, all I have to say is... If, if you enjoyed this video, and it's the first one you've seen, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.